Hello, community. Today we explore Sonnet 3.5. If we have problems, if we apply it for reasoning, we are here at our beautiful LM Sys. Yes, we do a blind test. And here have my Stanford prompt from causal reasoning. And you know this. We have some facts, we have a query, these are artificial words, never mind, there's no meaning behind this. And this is a pure logical test, and you see model A is thinking, model B is done, and we don't know what is what, so let's just wait for model A, we are step 17, step 19, conclusion. Conclusion, we can conclude that Alice is Wu, and the other, yes, Alice is Wu. So we have both here. The result, Alice is woo, so beautiful. Now, let's look at this here. A is better. So, Claude 3 Opus is better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And you might ask, why? Why I decided here in this way? Look at this. From the facts, we know Alice is thumb. So, here we have the facts. Code, cone, do, act, jack, this, rack, fact. What was? We know that Alice is thumb. F-U-M. F U M F U M F U M. No, this is a hallucination. Claude three point five purely hallucinated this fact. So let's have a look at the rules. The rule is if um, then vous. Let's start if not care fact vous test act fact knife. Here we have it. If num then vous. Yeah. Okay. So the rule is there, but the fact is hallucinating. So, therefore, the answer is accidentally correct by Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but Sonnet 3.5 invented a fact. And this is not what you want from your logical LLM that decides here your financial stream or your medical application. Claude 3 Opus didn't get it right. We can conclude that Alice's Wu's those steps are Correct. This is the correct way. So you see Claude is able to do it, but Claude 3.5 failed in this logical test. Let's do a new round. Let's go for another one because you know you never know if this is really just a one-stop affair. So we start all over again. Everything is blank again and I enter the exact same prompt. You see, is Alice Booth. Let's go with this. And, yes, take some time, beautiful. And you see, model B is already done. This is not an indication, you say, uh, okay. Model A is still thinking, step-by-step -step analysis. The rule, looking for another rule, suggest, yes, using the rule, okay, okay, yeah. So you see, model A is doing here the analytical work of going step-by-step -step in this logical model. So let's see what is the conclusion. There's no direct or derived fact from the given rules that Alice is Wu's. Alice is not confirmed to be Wu's. Now, B says Alice is white. We know this. If thumb, then white. Applied in reverse. And you say, oh no. This, this is a logical mistake. But the fact is correct here and the rule is correct. But now what happens here is there's nothing hallucinated, but just a logical error. A logical causal reasoning error is here. So, although it is the correct answer, Alice is indeed Wu's, it is done in a wrong way. So both are bad. And you see here, TBD4 Turbo got it wrong and Claude 3.5 Sonnet got it wrong again. But this applied in reverse, this is really interesting. Have a look at this. Just 42 minutes ago, I published here on my community post this, and it's called Affirming the Consequent. And you have here the text from Wikipedia to explain this. And here I have another prompt. Again, we have rules, we have facts, and I ask the same question, is Alice was? And as you can see here, there is again this mistake. This is a massive logical error. And if you apply this in reasoning and mathematics and logical physics, we have a problem. But don't worry, if you have it in a normal conversation, no problem at all. And here you have the screenshot what happened 40 minutes ago. And here you have it again. And you see cloud 3.5 sonnet. And we have it here. Rule, if thumb then white, replied in reverse. And applied in reverse is not correct. This is an incorrect logical statement you should not be allowed to do as an LLM. I hope it was interesting.